Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being with me today. Uh, we're back in Pine Valley Zoo as always, and we've got all sorts of things planned for today. Uh, last episode we built our treehouse and I was really pleased with how this turned out. I don't know what you think about it yet because I am recording this episode back to back with the last one. So obviously you guys haven't seen that yet, uh, but hopefully you've liked it. Um, so today I'm going to be focusing on this little bit here. I want to build a little shelter for the peacock feeding area uh, and, and just kind of finish off this end here. Uh, a couple of things before that though. I realised I never put down any media for this exhibit here. So I'm just going to get this put in here because uh, it needs it basically. Um, <laughs> I, I do like to put these little media things down so that people can get educated. I uh, can't actually remember what animal I put in here. What was it? Oh, there we go, the leaves, uh, leaf, leaf insect. Right, so let's do that. And while I'm at it, actually, I might put a talk point in as well. I wonder where, I imagine I can do a talk point out here. I think, I think that'll work. No species assigned, right, how do I link? I don't want to link seating. Um, oh, there we go. Good. Animal point is open. Educators can handle them. Yeah, great. So they will actually take them out and handle them. That's cool. Should I do it in March? Sure, why not? I'll do it in March. Excellent. Oh, look at that. People are waiting already. That's cool. Okay, and the other thing is something, this was something, I think this was uh, Gardening for Health and Wellbeing. I think you suggested this quite a few episodes ago and I keep forgetting to do it. You said about trying to hide this scratching post inside a tree. So I apologize for leaving it for so long. I, I, I keep meaning to do it in every episode and then I forget. Um, so I don't know if it'll work, but I will give it a go. I don't know whether it would look good in a dead tree, possibly, if I can. Because I think what I'm going to have to do, because I don't think any of the trees are going to be quite thick enough to fully hide it. But I'm, I wonder if by kind of twisting it and turning it, I can, I can sort of combine a couple of trees into one like this. I have no idea if this is going to look any good at all. Maybe if I mix it up so the branches are a bit different each time would make sense possibly even a completely different no not a completely different looking one that's not going to work but what i can do is bring it down although then it does get a bit too thin to actually hide it doesn't it hmm okay we're getting there though that's that is looking much better I think I'm just I'm gonna just need one more there. Whether I can twist that, maybe raise it up a bit, bring it out. Right, what do we think? I mean it's got a lot of branches on it, but yeah, I think that looks pretty good actually. Yeah. Be interesting to see what it looks like when the bears scratch up against it. Um but yeah, there we go. There's there is your suggestion um, in practice. And if I spot a bear using it, then I will uh, I will show you. Okay, so this is what I want to work on today. <clears throat> I want to build some kind of a shelter here. Not really sure. See, I was I was debating whether to do it wood or stone. I'm going to try stone. I know it's a bit out of theme for what we're doing in this area but I kind of want that I think I think I, I want it to look a bit different uh, oh no that's the wrong thing so what I'm thinking is let's create a, a base using one of these pieces something like that let's see what the width is like on this yes it's, it's a little bit too wide ideally but it's kind of the best one that I've got. Okay, let's try. That's all, all you can do in this game sometimes is just try stuff and see what happens. 
So I'm thinking, I don't want it to cover this up as such. I just want it to be like a shelter for it. Now that is too tall because I don't want to hide it. I want it to, I want it to be hidden um, sort of down low, but but still viewable from the outside. So yeah, this, this piece is not going to do it for me. Okay, here we go. This is a better piece. Yeah, and that's a more reasonable width actually as well. Okay, let's go with that piece. Yeah, is that upside down or does it not really matter? I don't think that matters. Hang on, let's see. Does it look better this way up? Yeah, I think that looks better actually. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's start with that. There we go. That's a good starting piece. Um, actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to. It's really awkward trying to build it in there, so I'm not going to try. I'm just going to move it out here and build it over here. Okay, so that's a good first piece. I think. Um, I don't know if. I don't know if this is going to <laughs> to work. Uh, well, it certainly won't if it's like that. Yeah, this this could work if I can maneuver this inside it like that. Try and hide it. Is that gonna? No, that bulges through quite a lot, doesn't it? Hmm. I quite like the look of that, but not showing there. So I'm going to have to move it in. It shows on the inside, but actually that looks fine. I, I don't mind that on the inside, but I just I don't want it showing on the outside. And then maybe down a bit. I don't really want it too tall. Okay, let's get these combined. And then we can start work. Actually, I'm just going to paint this terrain so I don't have to compete with the grass. <clears throat> okay, good. It's a good start. So next I'm going to need a pillar on each side. What have we got in the way of pillars? Um, it's not a lot. I think these, yeah, these are huge. I may have to create my own pillar with something like that. It's a possibility. I'm just going to put that piece there because I like the look of it. Not sure what it's going to do, but I like the look of it. And that one. I might use them in some capacity. There's not a lot there. Right, that's massive. See, this is possible, but it's still quite big. I was really hoping for something a bit thinner. See, all of these. Oops, didn't mean to place that one. Don't like that one. All of them are really, really wide, aren't they? I was really hoping for something a bit more narrow. Um, right, what's. Actually, I don't. I don't mind that redness. That looks all right. A, a bit of colour might look quite nice, actually. I'll, I'll stick that there for a second and see. Although, actually, this is colourable, isn't it? Yeah, that is. But I kind of like the texture and the, the concrete block aspect of that. I do like that. I might be able to use that somewhere. That looks cool, but it's too big. Ooh, that's a nice piece. I could almost create a pillar using that, couldn't I? If that's... Let's see, if that is upside down... What do we think to this? Um, Do you know what? I, no, yeah, I think that looks pretty decent actually. Let's just, just move that down and that one down. That's actually a really nice little pillar. I like that. Let's let's see if I can get that somewhere on the end. In a way that looks good hmm. or does it I wonder does it actually need to be on here so that it looks like it's combined with with this little 
column that's under here. Let's have a look what this looks like if I use it there as well. Yeah, I quite like that. It's too tall. In fact, even that is probably too tall. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's get rid of these ones then. I don't need them. I like that actually as a, as a basic shape. Not entirely sure how I'm going to copy it and create a full edge, but I'll I'll worry about that when I try it. <laughs> um, right, so now I need to I need a top piece like that, but smaller. Oh, look at them; they're all massive, aren't they? See, that's I mean, it's 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 too big. It's, it's it's gonna look very grand and I don't I don't really want it to be quite that grand I don't think there may not be a lot of other choice do you know I may just have to go with something like that instead anyway, let's just make sure I line it up properly let's use that one Yeah, okay. Well, do you know what? I, I was thinking of doing a roof, but actually it doesn't really need a roof. It is only an edge. So what I'm thinking is is to is to copy it round, move it to an appropriate distance like that so that it's about the, the right width for that. Let's just get rid of these pieces. For, actually, let's just separate those pieces for now. And then let's come back in here and see what this looks like if I start doing this. Oh, look at that. That is looking really nice. <laughs> That's worked out really, really well, actually. Awesome. Okay, let's move that into position and see what we think. I think that's it's a, oh, it's a possibly a little bit too small. But I, I could actually try and essentially cover it up, couldn't I? Which is it's not what I said I was going to do at the start, but I, I kind of could do, do it like that and make it look like it's all integrated into it. Right, where are we? I'm just trying to line it up so it's roughly kind of symmetrical with it. Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Obviously, I need to delete some of it so that the animals can actually uh, get into it. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking that. Right. So let's let's delete um, I probably need to do one more to make it look because that looks silly like that, doesn't it? Um, actually, I probably need to do two more. Yeah, to make it look a bit more um, symmetrical. Yeah, okay. Okay, that looks good. So what I then need to do is sort out the barrier. And I've had a bit of an idea about this because what, what I'd like is for the pathway to come around here so that people can get right up close to it and watch them. That's my thinking. So I essentially need to make a whole load of this invisible so let's let's get all of that invisible and then this one here oh why is it not going to let me do that ah can it ah okay it, it's probably because of the feeder there isn't it it's not going to let me get it that close to the feeder that's fine let's go there uh, actually, yeah, let's let's just smarten this bit up a bit. Make sure the animals can still access the feeder. Yeah, that looks good. Cool, okay. So then let's have a look at our pathway. 
So what I was hoping is that I could bring it off from here, something like that. Let's get rid of the angle snap and bring it right in close. Something like this anyway. Actually, I can get that really close there. And then what do we think? It's a little bit poking out here, but I'm going to put some foliage around here anyway, so that is fine. And then you've just got this little end piece here. So then what I'll do when I have the the next enclosure is um, I'll I'll oh, actually I'll, I probably need to move this, don't I? thinking about it and bring this round to here because then I can extend from that when I have the the next enclosure I can then bring this further around down to here and then I I'll, I'll have to just create an extra little little edge here probably with this you know some with some foliage I guess let's have a look at that then let's have a look at some <clears throat> some basic foliage here just to cover up this edge um, I want to use something different different to this because it's all it's all a bit samey otherwise isn't it uh, what have we got I want something with a bit of a bit of color well let's get a bit of this in first um, actually yeah this wattle is really good for for these edging pieces definitely uh, tells you not to walk past it doesn't it um, let's I think I'll probably put a, a bench down here somewhere I'll get some of that like that um, maybe get some yeah get a bit of scrolla in here as well maybe get a little bit of this sunk in just back here create a nice a nice edge there and oh, keeps my computer's doing that weird pausing thing again I do apologize about a little bit of wattle no that's too big maybe one of it no I'll tell you what actually we, we could use one of these other ones here just to fill this edge in like so <clears throat> Yeah, that's fine. Um, this bit is proving a bit tricky, isn't it? It's yeah, everything is a bit a bit big for this. Okay, let's um, let's not put a bush. Let's just find some decent looking flowers then. Yeah, can't go wrong with these ones. These are these are always my sort of go-to flowers. Those are a bit big. Let's go with some of these individual ones. No, actually, I need a I need a strip there to cover up that edge don't I that's fine I can do that there we go that looks good yeah I like that that's great uh, and then I probably want to continue an edge here as well um, and in fact I probably will use more of these here just to complete this particular bit of edging I think that makes sense it looks it looks fairly formal there because that's the gate in the entrance so you, you want to make it quite obvious that that's uh, that's been grown there to stop people walking across it uh, now let's just make sure the peacocks are happy yes they are they can come in here and use their little eating area that's great yeah I like that what I will do as well with the path I will do something like that as well and in fact I'll smooth these edges off yeah that's that's much better isn't it there we go that looks good yeah nice smooth edge now to this little path uh, I didn't need these uh, no that's fine I'll get rid of that 
They were nice, but not necessary. I really like how that's turned out, actually. I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's a nice little feeding area for our, our peacocks. Um, I'm assuming it's going to get used. Yeah, it's been used. Good. And then I've got a little flower bed I can make here as well. Um, I think I will go with flowers, actually. Let's... Um, yeah, just make this a simple little flower bed. Doesn't need to be anything too clever in here. Let's just choose a few nice looking bits and pieces. Start filling it up. Like I've always said, don't overdo it. Just pick four or five decent looking flowers. Actually, I'm in the wrong thing. I should go down to this one. Here we go. Um, right, where are some of my favourites? I don't use these ones very much actually, but I really like them. So let's get a few of these in here. Oh no, that's a water hyacinth, don't want that. Uh, that's a nettle. These ones are okay. Um, no, they're not going to look right in there. Oh yes, this one is good. So let's do some of these. Let's plug a few of these little gaps here. I don't want any gaps showing in this bed because um, it's not, well, it's just not that sort of bed. There we go. Right, now where's this other one? This is the one. I absolutely love this one. I love this one because it doesn't have any holes in it. It just completely fills any gap and covers up all the ground underneath and you can just fill in all the little holes like that there we go that is a really nice simple little bed and of course I will put a dot plant in it um, let's put a palm I reckon one of these right in the middle will look pretty good now let's go for the biggest one yeah there we go yeah, that looks cool, doesn't it? Really simple, but pretty effective like that. Good. Right, so I'm... Th oh, look, there they go. The peacocks are in there. So I'm thinking a bench over here. Oh, maybe even a picnic bench. I wonder. Try and encourage people to have a little sit down. No, that's not going to work, is it? Oh, that's a shame. The, the path isn't wide enough. I could put one right in the middle here. Bit random though isn't it now let's just go with a bench try and encourage people to come and sit down over here here we go is there somewhere else i can put a bench or two around here yeah let's get one under there that looks nice um not a lot of room down here i yeah i could squeeze one in there i could probably squeeze one in over here as well actually op opposite that one it's quite a bit of space on these pathways. Yeah, let's get one in here too. Uh, oh, I completely forgot about our little area here, didn't I? That was going to be um, an aardvark, wasn't it? Never mind, I'll come back to that. I've got so many things to do. It's all good fun. Right, let's just get a few more bins down here as well. Let's get a bin uh, over here. No, that looks terrible. I'm not having a bin there. Let's get a bin. No, I've got a bin there. Maybe I have got enough bins already. Actually, no, let's get a bin over here. There we go. And actually, there's a bin there, which looks terrible. So let's move that over by the bench. There we go. Nice. That is that area done. I'm really pleased with this little bit that I just did, actually. I think that looks really nice. Got our little pea fowl still walking around in here. Hopefully, people are going to enjoy um, watching them. I wonder, actually... I think these animal talk points, you can attach these to any animal, I believe. So if I do that, um, let's not do it in March. Let's go with May, just so it varies it up a bit. Can throw food, yeah, see that's cool. So they can stand there and hopefully throw some food into here and tell people all about the animal that's awesome I should probably do that about the bears really I don't know if there's a good point 
Ooh, I wonder if I could do one here for the bears. There's a little bit of space here for talking, isn't there? Let's have a look. Food throw path is blocked. Ah, that's a shame. I wonder if I can... Does it need to be closer? No habitat to throw food into. Hmm. All right, let's just keep moving it and see if it works anywhere. Can throw food. There we go. Let's do it there. I know it's going to block the pathway a bit. Um, but there's not really going to be anywhere else. Like it, you could do it down here, but people can't really see very well from down here, can they? Whereas at least from up here, if people are gathered here and they're throwing food in there, there's quite a good view, isn't there? So that's cool. Let's do it in January. Why not? Let's just mix it up a bit. Oh, that's brilliant. I've never really used these things as much as I should. So I'm pretty, pretty pleased with that, actually. Right, so the last thing to do really in this area is get some lighting in because I don't think I've done any lighting at all around here. So the rest of this has all been lit up pretty nicely. So yeah, I definitely need a bit of work here. I'm still not entirely finished with this restaurant to be honest either. Um, I never, I sort of abandoned it halfway through really. I don't feel like I've, I've done what I need to with that. So I will come back to that restaurant as well. Um, I'll get some lighting going and then uh, that will be it for the episode um, and sort of this area really um, it's, it's kind of done which is really nice feeling it's nice to finish off an area and be able to move on to something new so let's get some um, some lighting in so I'm going to start by doing the pathways and some pretty simple lighting. I love these lamps. They're very English looking lamps. I am in England, so you know, I see this sort of lamp all over the place. Whoops, I didn't mean to connect that. There we go. And let's go right in the corner here somewhere that look nice. I should probably get one in amongst this lot somewhere. Let's get one right in there in the foliage. That looks nice. It's. I might get one. I might get something. Actually, no, let's 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 do this first. Let's let's do one thing at a time, and then I'll come back and do a few other little lighting ideas. So let's get one in here. Um. I might do something different on the stairs. Let's get a light on this little area here. Ah, now what sort of lighting do I want to do around here? The shops themselves are lit up pretty well already actually, so they're good. I might do something different around here. Let's just focus on the, uh, the pathways. So I think I want to try and get one behind the bench there. That looks good. Actually, that looks terrible. I didn't get that in the middle. Let me try that again. Right. In the middle of the bench. Actually, what is the middle? That's Is that the middle or is that the middle? No, that's the middle, isn't it? There, that little gap. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit of a perfectionist with that sort of thing. There we go. Nice. Uh, I won't do up here yet because I haven't actually finished building that bit. Okay, let, that, that's that's it for that. I think these could look good if I get these used correctly. Ah, uh, look, our peacocks are feasting. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. Shame there's not more people watching them. Anyway, let's go for some soft orange. So I'm thinking here in this little flower bed will look nice. And I'm actually thinking of doing the same in this flower bed. I love this sort of hidden lighting that you do in it. It just brings the area to life without being a really obvious, especially under these orange plants, it looks really nice. And then I'd like one here, kind of highlighting the bear. It's great because it's lit up, but you can't tell where the light's coming from. OK, 
okay and then I think a little bit more back here as well I know we've already got a light here but I kind of like this style of lighting I think I can even get one back in this corner I like that it lights the wall up yeah I think that looks nice and then one more over here right on the base of this tree here I think yeah there we go yeah that looks nice it's subtle but it it has a, a, a good effect and I quite like that I've left this dark not not dark you've got the street lights but there's nothing too bright on this area I, I like that I think that works okay great um, so the lighting on the stairs I'm thinking of um, some of this modern stuff like these ones so I do a line to surface yeah see these these can look pretty decent it's tricky to try and get them all lined up properly but I can I can try how do I want these to look there's quite a few different ones to choose from I guess these ones would make sense because they're wood but I kind of like the look of these ones so um, yeah let's go with let's go with a couple right at the bottom here I want to try and line them up so they look sort of symmetrical but it's I'm not making any guarantees that it's going to be perfect so I guess I'm not, I don't want to go over the top either I'm, I'm going to go sort of halfway up here and then I'll do one just right at the top as well yeah that's good and then I'll get one up here Make sure I line that up. It's roughly there. Yeah, that's fine. I like that. It's it's enough. You know, you don't want to be lighting it up like a Christmas tree. You know. Okay. Let's get. Let's just do this side first. So let's go right at the top and uh, yeah, let's get one in. There we go. And then copy that. Oh. That one's slightly hidden in the bush there, but that's fine. It just shows that the foliage has grown around it a bit. Yep, that looks good. Let's move on. Let's go to this one now. Let's do the same again. Let's, oh, that's gone a bit funky there. What's that trying to connect to? Oh, that's really weird. Okay, I'll come back and do that one in a second. Oh, it's going to be awkward up there as well. Fine, how about this side? Okay, I can just about do this side. Cool. Okay, let's go this way. It's fine. I'll get there in the end. I just have to do it in a slightly different method. Let's bring it up and along to about there. Let's just bring it up a bit. There we go. Excellent. Yep, that looks good. And then I will do this uh, these stairways as well. Let's go there. What have we got? It's quite long. Oh, this is a really long one. I'm still only just going to do halfway, I think. I don't want to do too many. There we go. And then let's copy that over on the other side. I know this isn't the most exciting thing to watch. But we've done some good stuff in this episode. And... Um, I'm just going to finish it with the boring stuff I'm afraid <laughs> it has to be done though these you know you, you need to do these little details because it does make all the difference um, so you know if you if you're not if you don't want to see me place a load of lights then you can just skip to the end of the video when I say goodbye and good night <laughs> and thank you and all that stuff um, we're nearly done this is this is the last staircase to do so um, this will be the last one let's just get the last few in place and then we can stand back and admire all of our wonderful stuff that we've done. Uh, there we go. And one more down here. Oh, we've got a flower poking through there. Hang on. What's going on there? Let's get that moved in a bit. Ah, no, because that was covering that gap. Okay, that's fine. I can sort that. I need 
a small one to go in this corner here or one or two maybe if I can get that right in the corner yeah so just so that it's not poking through let's duplicate it there and in there there we go great okay how are we looking we're looking okay yeah so I haven't really done the restaurant area actually have I mmm I was gonna do those same lights but actually I think I'll just keep them on the on the stairs and maybe go for something inside these tables potentially let's just sink that in yeah maybe maybe this will work just on a few of the tables again I don't want to go over the top with the lighting you, you want to keep lighting quite subtle Yeah, I think that works actually. Uh, let's just straighten that up and get that on there. Yeah, I quite like that. Not too fussed about these areas here. I mean, it's a bit dark, but you, because you've got the, the, the lights of the shops, it kind of, it doesn't really need any more than that, I don't think great well there we go that is going to do it for this episode i think oh look we have a talk going on so what's he done is he thrown that in for the bears is that what's going on here i think he probably has ah oh, i think he's just finished so many guests turned up for his talk waiting to start roaming talk Ah, so now we'll just walk around and do a bit of talking as well. That's brilliant. I wonder if the bears actually came and and ate some food. So what other ones did we have? We had this one going on in March, didn't we? Ooh, lots of people waiting. Ah, it's got a little bit funky because they're kind of standing all around here as well, but that's fine. So she is... Uh, I think... Oh, 13th of February, yeah, so she's just waiting. Let's just fast forward it because she can get the animals out and I'm intrigued to see what that looks like because I haven't witnessed that yet. Wow, there's loads of people queuing up. Here we go. So is she, she's giving an animal talk. Is she going to get the animal out? Now let's just speed it up a bit and see what happens. No, that's a microphone. That is not... A leaf insect I was really hoping she was gonna get it out and show people oh she's giving a good talk she looks very enthusiastic doesn't she is anything gonna happen doesn't look like it does it well that's disappointing educators can handle the the insect so why didn't they manage talks ah do you have to tell them to do it or no you don't oh uh, well wow look at these numbers that's pretty crazy isn't it oh look I haven't actually renamed some of these things I'll do that off camera okay that's cool I mean they're working and the people are happy I tell you what let's just check our guests actually just see what people are thinking hopefully there's nothing negative good the zoo is great great scenery oh Chad was the best he must be one of my talkers Carrie was the best oh look yeah every they, they like the talks don't they the zoo is very spacious that's because I've limited it to 500 people again um, it's, it's not a lot of people in here but it, that's fine yeah look at that no negative thoughts that's a that's a good thing isn't it hopefully no crime I've probably got crime turned off awesome okay well there we go oh look and we've got the um, the Indian peafowl talk going on now as well and again look at that loads of people listening the peafowl over here having their lunch oh that's worked perfectly hasn't it look at that people can stand here 
and watch the peafowl. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause the game there because that is going to be my screenshot. I'm going to sort a thumbnail out in a minute for this episode and that will be it. Um, wow, there we go. So let's leave it there. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I've had a lot of fun in this one actually. It's worked out really nicely. Um, and we've basically finished this area. We've obviously we've got work to do up the top here, but I might do that next, but I might actually come down and do our, our aardvark habitat down here and finish this bit off first. Um, depends, I haven't really thought about this, so I don't entirely know what I'm going to do in here yet. Um, but anyway, I'm really happy with what I've done in this episode, getting all this, this area finished off. So please do let me know what you think. Uh, do you like my little peacock talking area here? Do you think it turned out all right? I think it did. Uh, I'd be intrigued to know what you think. Uh, if you have enjoyed the episode, you can hit the like button. It's only a little thing, but it really does help out the channel. So I really appreciate that. And hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. And until then, do take care and I will see you soon. Bye, bye for now.